Hi guys, it's me. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while on this channel, but I did notice that you guys really seem to like my last, my last scratch tutorial, so I am going to make another one. As you could see from the title, this one is about mouse pen trails. So the first step is thinking of what you want for your trail. Let's start out with this one. This one is where it just looks like a bunch of mini mouses. Mouses, and by like, mouses, I mean like the little arrows come off of your mouse. So you're gonna make like a little arrow, like that. But you could make the fill any color you want. I recommend white or red. I'm gonna do red. So what you're gonna do for first is grab the, oh, a uh, green flag block. Grab a forever block, go to the motion section, grab a go to random position block, and switch it to mouse pointer. So then it always goes to your mouse. Now for the clone part. You don't want to. Well, then you're going to want to get another green flag block. Um, another forever block, but this time you're going to put in create clone of myself. And then get a when I start as a clone block, you're gonna say repeat 10. Change color effect by 5. Change size by minus 10. And now, oh wait, I for <laughs> sorry, I forgot. And then <laughs> you add a block that says uh, delete this column. Maybe change that to minus five. Sorry, I didn't practice to make this video. But then, yeah, there, there you go. There you go. You have that. Maybe we could do seven. But yeah, there you go. Now you got a rainbow mouse trail. So we could hide that. We'll make a new one. This time, I just recommend taking, just making like three shapes. A square. Maybe make that smaller. Yeah, we're gonna make that small. Square. Triangle. And all of these will go in the middle. And then a circle. And then you square, triangle, and circle. So next, we're going to do the same thing with a when I when green flag is clicked. Forever. Now you're going to duplicate it. Then we'll do forever. Go to 
mouse pointer and a forever create this clone or create clone of myself. So then you'll get a when I start as a clone block and attach a switch to costume blank block. Or just get one of these. Then you'll go to operators and pick and pick a random one to however many costumes you have. So we have three, so you're gonna go switch to costume, pick random one to three. And then point in direction, pick random zero to 360, and move 10 steps. Repeat 10, maybe repeat five, Change size by five, and then I delete this code block. And you got this. Oh, right. Sorry, it should be minus five. Now oh, it's minus six. You want and. You just duplicate the clone block. So then we put five. You get a lot more. We'll get rid of three, or we'll get rid of two. You get that many clones. And then the last thing you need is a set color effect to pick random one to two hundred. There you go. You got rainbow. Yep, you got rainbow mouse trail. The next one is very similar. Why can't I hide this? That's that's weird. But the next one is very similar. You'll just want to take out the switch random costume thing. And delete all of them. All the costumes and make a new one. It looks like this. Kind of like a teardrop, I think. Let's make another one. Yeah, that's better. So it's kind of like a little confetti. But now you have both of them coming off, which is... Um, if we just do this... And hide. I'm not really sure how that glitched, but then for this one, it kind of, it looks like this. So you could take one of these off, maybe move seven steps. But yeah, now you got it. this, this, and this. Sorry, this is kind of a hard, or not not hard video, but this is kind of a short video. Um, but uh, we'll just demonstrate them now. So you got this one with all the shapes. You got this one. Rainbow Mouse, which I personally really, really like. Um, you could just do change color effect by like 10, and then you could get a lot more colors. But, there you have it. Okay. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and make, if the red subscribe button is red, click it to make it go gray. And I hope you liked this scratch tutorial. Bye!